All right, what is going on YouTube? ManRay17 here. In today's video, we're going to be going over my mouse gun collection, everything that is about my hand size or under it. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and sub. I'm going to be doing more of my collection soon, and I'm going to be going to Oregon to go visit my buddy out there and do some crazy shit. And I'm always going to have some more videos. Also, too, this Monday, the beard is going. Kind of sad to say it, but yeah, I'm going to get myself a haircut. And me and my boy Henry are going to do a uh, nice video on that bad boy. So be tuned if you guys want to see me uh, chop off the beard. All right. First guns first. This is the Bursa 380. A lot of people are going to say this gun should not be on the list. However, I know many boomers are going to say that that is a mouse gun for sure. So that's why this one's on the list. It is a 380. Most people are going to cap on 380, but with modern ballistics, you can't go wrong. Get yourself some critical defense. And this bad boy is a nice little driver. The only bad thing is, is this thing is a snappy little bastard in the back right here. Thing just hurts your hand uh, but you know what are you gonna do hurt your hand or save your life made in Argentina my first gun I love this gun personally it is literally the Walther PPK clone which we're gonna get into in just a minute the next gun that I'm gonna bring up is a they are connected so the next two are connected as far as companies go so let's start off with the Second one in my collection, this is the Jennings 22. What is the exact model on this one? This is the Jennings J22. As you can see, a lot more smaller than the Bursa. You gotta take off the safety. It's kind of like a Phoenix Arms. If that safety's on, the uh, it's not gonna let it cock back. I don't like a heel mag release, but you know, that's what you get with these little guns. Can't really have a mag release right there. Now, the cool thing about this gun is it is 10 times more reliable than a Walther P22. Whatever you do, don't get yourself a Walther P22. Those things are freaking garbage. You got to use like hot Stinger ammunition for 22 high velocity stuff. This thing will cycle just about anything you give it except for like subsonic rounds. So, you know, obviously subsonic's not going to work right. Love this gun and this is why they are connected. This is the Davis 32 ACP. What is the exact model on this bad boy? Model D32, I should have figured that. So these two are connected in the way that Jennings was the father-in-law of Mr. Uh, Davis. And Jennings also made the Raven line, which, you know, great line. They are made uh, known for their economic, economic, economic ability. Is that even a fucking word? Yeah, dummy. Economics. They are usually under a hundred bucks, but in California, you might get a little bit of price gouging there because you can't get these in California anymore. The only mouse gun you can really get are from Cobra, um, Bond Arms, and Phoenix Arms. Phoenix Arms has like a little 25, 22 kind of thing. They're not the greatest. I mean, they shoot fine, but can't go wrong. 32 ACP, and this is what links back to the good old Bursa. That looks like the James Bond gun, but it's not the James Bond gun because it's a 380. However, the, uh, I almost called it a Bond arm. The Davis Industries 32 is actually the same caliber as the original Walther PPK. 32 ACP. I've shot a legit Walther PPK. That thing has zero recoil. Another uh, good buddy of mine, pretty much double tapping bullseyes. Actually, he didn't double tap the bullseye, but I mean, just a nail driver. Just boom, boom, perfectly zero recoil on that bad boy and you wonder why james bond was on point now for the last gun the reason why i like this gun so much is i shot many 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 tanfoglios i don't know how you say it in italian or whatever but this is the tanfoglio gt27 it is in 25 acp this bad boy did give me some issues in the beginning i don't know why i'm gonna point it out myself i know it's clear the firing pin was, ugh, sorry about that. Firing pin was uh, getting stuck in there. So I had to bore it out a little bit so the firing pin could come back and reset. For some reason it wouldn't. And when the hammer would drop, nothing would happen. Reason why I got this, like I was saying, is Tanfoglio makes a bunch of CZ-75 clones and basically competition guns that aren't CZ-75. So you're not gonna have to pay that stupid high price. So that's why I got me one of these. Once I heard Tanfoglio, I was like, I am on my way to Oxnard right now. 
So that was my little mouse gun collection. All these little bad boys right here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be on the lookout for more videos of my gun collection. And you guys take care. Have a good one. Bravo 17 going dark.